Hey everyone, Matey here. Today I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the green screen. Know how to do do that? I do have another video, a short one, to show you how you can do that. Alright, let's see. Is the green screen gone? Now I'm going to um, add a mask. I'm actually going to use the hat from this mask here. This is by Punky Stock. At, um on Deviant Art. So I'm going to use the head part of that there, the top bit. Do a quick selection on the white bits, and it should get most of it. I think. Just using a quick selection tool, and then if I pop a layer mask on there and invert it, leave it like that for the minute. I can go back and adjust that afterwards. Alright, so I um, need to get the size right. i just reduce that a little bit. Highlight both of those and trans transform them both. Right, so, she'll be able to bring her hand back then by just left clicking on her tile making a selection and then masking the, the headpiece I have to get in there and fix it up a little bit So I found these um, brass talons, and a bit of a Google search in images. So I'll, so I'll make some sort of bra out of these. <clears throat> Again, I'll use the quick selection tool.
Okay, so I want group those two levels together. Um, talons. Alright, so we've got some texture of emu feathers here by um, Eerie, I R I E. You can find it on DeviantArt. So with these talons, I'm going to try to match the gold in her uh, jewellery a little bit. So I'll probably use um, some hue and saturation there. There's a clipping mask, so it's only going to affect those layers, that group. And if I just put the saturation up a bit, it should bring in the gold a bit, I think. Now, I might find some feathers to put behind her as well. Okay, so I've got a grey feather here, which I'm going to use this and um, put some feathers in behind her. So, um, start here. Control J, Control T for bring the um, the dot down to the. I should be able to just start to rotate that a little bit. Then do the same. Grip the dot center. Bring it down to that corner. A to copy it, control T, control J, control T, control J, this together okay so looking at that I've changed my mind so these feathers at the back I'm going to enlarge I think I don't need that one there, I'll delete that. Um, the 
enemies can go into their own group, so I'll group them and call them wings for a bit of turn. Now I need to uh, do some shadowing. I'm going to start behind the talons here. And just with a black brush. Opacity turned down a bit. Just going to paint some shadows. Just going to paint a few shadows in behind. Some underneath the, the hat there. And on the wings behind. Okay, now there's a little bit of a mark on her face. Um, let me see what I'll show you. There, so I'm going to fix that mark there. I'm going to use um, going to use the mixer brush for this. All right, so the mixer brush lives in here with the brush tools. Now the most important thing when you're using this is that you have this crossed, so it cleans every time it does a stroke. So clean the brush after each stroke, and you want these values here to be low. So what it'll do, and also sample all layers. So it's going to sample all the layers, and it's going to mix the colours, and it's kind of blend them in. So I'm just going to do that, paint over there, little by little. So that blemish that I didn't like. Now that I zoomed in, I can see something else there. And I think that's the edge of one of these. No, it's not there. Where is it? What is it? Talons, where's the talons? Alright, so that's what it is. It's the talons. So if I put a layer mask on those. Paint with black, it'll help. There we go. Got rid of that. That mark. So if we go back to that mixer brush, I can probably fix that little line up there too. Transform. I can move this around a bit now and I can now want it. Maybe some more like. 
What I might do is turn off the background and do a stamp of everything above because then that'll allow me to use in in a shadow to have the light coming from a certain direction. So I'll highlight the top level, Control Shift Alt E, it'll create a stamp of everything that's below it. Um, and if I move the background in underneath that layer there. Got that on its own layer. If I make a copy of that, Control J, if I double click, and I can go to Inner Shadow. Now, you want this on Color Dodge, and we'll change the colors here in a minute, but I don't want that angle, I want the angle from that side. So now I'm going to um, I'm going to try to make some of her appear as so though she's coming out of the atmosphere that's created with that background. So I'm going to put a an layer mask on her, invert it, and then with a gradient, um, this um, radial gradient here, I'm going to paint it back with white, with white. And keeping her headpiece and as part of her in focus. I'm do that now. I want to try to brighten up this side of her face and, and that a bit so I'm going to try something I'm going to try doing um, uh, a lighting effect without the background because there's plenty of light in the background already so I'm going to go to um, render and render a lighting effect and I want to try to just get a bit more brightness on half of her here so when this So it's more like she's in the picture. Although this 
inner shadow is a bit too bright now and it's a bit too yellow so I'm going to um, turn down, turn that down a bit. Maybe put that more towards red tones. filter. We're going to take a stamp. It's Control Alt Shift and E. Up here in Camera Raw. Turn the saturation down a little bit and the vibrance up. Okay, and it's Miss Shayla. <laughs> 